All right, guys, so this is a really cool card trick that I'm going to show you right now. It's a very cool mathematical card trick. So the cards can be cut and shuffled um, as many times as the spectator would like me to. But as you guys can see, I'll spread it this way so that you guys can see here. Um, but all the cards are completely, you know, random and shuffled just like this. All right. And the spectator can, uh, you know, ask me to shuffle it more if they want me to. But it really doesn't matter. So all that's going to happen in this trick is I'm going to set the deck down for, for now. And I'm going to have the spectator just name any number that they want to between 10 and 20, because I don't want it to be too small, but I don't want it to be too big. So any number between 10 and 20, let's say they say 12, all right? So what's gonna happen is this, we're gonna count 12 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then to further randomize it, we're gonna add the digits of 12. So one plus two equals three, all right? So we're gonna count three more cards, one, two, three, and then this card will be the first card. So we're actually gonna do this three more times until we get four random cards here, all right? So I'm gonna have the spectator name another random number between 10 and 20 uh, besides 12. So let's say they name uh, 14, for example. All right, it could be any number. So let's say 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And to further randomize, we'll add the digits of 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. So we'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this will be the second card. So now we'll do with the third number. So I'll ask them to name another random number. Let's say they say 19. All right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right. So now we're going to add the digits of 19. 1 plus 9 is 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that will be the third card. And one more number. Uh, let's say they say 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And add the digits. 1 plus 7 is 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is the last card. And even though the deck was shuffled and cut as many times as the spectator would like me to, the spectator found 1, 2, 3, 4 aces from their 4 randomly chosen numbers and that is the trick guys so now i'm going to teach you guys how you can do this all right guys so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw so this trick is actually a mathematical card trick and it's an extremely simple concept that you guys will understand once i explain it to you so basically it requires just a little bit of a setup but it's a very very simple to get into so you're going to do this before you walk up to your spectator so you're going to remove the four aces from the deck and by the way the rest of the deck can be completely mixed up it really does not matter so these cards are mixed up but just remove the four aces so you're going to turn the deck over face up so all the cards are facing up and you're going to be placing the aces so that they're going every ninth card in the deck. So they're going to be in the ninth, 18th, 27th, and 36th position. And it's very easy to do this. All you're going to do is take the deck, turn it over face up, and you're going to count eight cards and then put the ace in. So you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then take an ace put it in the ninth position do that again with all the other aces. So count eight more cards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take an ace, put it in, eight more cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take the next ace, put it in, and then last eight cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take the last ace, put it in, and the rest of the cards can just be dropped right there on top. So now, when you spread through these cards and show the spectator the deck, they really will think the deck is shuffled. They're not going to notice any sort of setup, even though you can see clearly here that the aces are going every ninth card just like this. But the spectator is not going to be able to notice this because all the other cards are completely random. So that's basically the only setup that you have to do. There is a little thing in the beginning that you can do if you want it to appear that the deck is really getting mixed even more. This is something that you can do when you walk up to the spectator in order to make it appear that the deck is mixed up. So initially what you can do is you can just do some simple false cuts, but some people don't really suspect that those are real. So what you can do is you can actually just take a peek at the bottom card and remember the eight of hearts. So now all you're going to do is you're going to have the spectator cut the deck as many times as they want. So they can complete the cut um, as many times as they want. They can cut the deck wherever it really doesn't matter. And all you're doing is remembering that card, the eight of hearts. So when they're done cutting the deck, you're going to flip over the cards and spread through the cards here, showing that the deck really is now mixed up. You're going to look for the eight of hearts. And all you're going to do is you're going to pick up the deck and you're going to cut the deck right there at the eight of hearts so that it brings the eight of hearts back to the bottom. And this will actually rearrange the deck so that now the deck is exactly back where you started. The first ace is now nine cards from the top. And that is exactly what you want. And another thing that you can do is you can also 
also shuffle just a couple of cards off the bottom because the first ace is in the 36th position. So you have a bunch of cards here that you actually can mix up because all these cards are not really associated with the method of the trick because they're just sort of extra cards at the bottom. So you can shuffle off like 10 cards overhand shuffle style. You can go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then just put those back on the bottom. So don't really put them on top or anything, but you can just kind of say like, all right, so we can shuffle the deck just a little bit more like this. It really doesn't matter. And that makes it look like the deck is being shuffled. So that's something that you can do to make it appear that the deck is being more shuffled. So now you can spread through the deck, show the spectator, the cards really are mixed up. And now you're going to start with the choosing random numbers process. So you're going to set the deck down and you're really going to have the spectator name any number between 10 10 and 20. And this trick is going to work with any number ranging from 11 to 19. The only rule is they can't name 10, and they can't name 20. They can name 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, or 19. All of those numbers would work. So the basic math behind this, it's called uh, the number nine force. And what's happening is you're counting down to a random number. So let's say they say 13 is their first number. So you're really going to count down 13 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Pick up the 13 cards that you just dealt on the table. And you're going to say, we're going to add the digits of 13. One plus three is four. And you're going to count four cards on the deck. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. Deal four cards on top of the deck. You're going to take the next card. You're not going to take the fourth card. You're going to take the next card down. And this will always be the ace. You're going to set down the ace there. Then you're going to take the remaining cards and put them on the bottom of the deck. Okay. And that's basically the entire method for all of the numbers. So the basic math behind this is, so they said 13, right? So we count 13 cards, and then you add the digits of one and three is four. So you'll notice that nine plus four actually equals 13. And you can do this with any number. So let's say they said 15, you count 15 cards, one plus five is six, and you notice that nine plus six equals 15. And that's basically how the math works. So now you're going to do this with the other three randomly chosen numbers. So let's say they say 11 for the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then uh, 11 is 1 and 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. And you'll see that 11 minus 2 is 9. So that's basically the math right there. So you're going to count two cards on top of the deck. So 1, 2, the next card will be the ace. So you can set that down. And then take the rest of the cards and put them on the bottom of the deck. All right, that resets you. So now the next ace is nine cards from the top again. All right, so let's say they say 17 for the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. One plus seven is eight. So you're gonna go eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next card will be the ace. So you're gonna set that down, take the rest of the cards, put them on the bottom. And last number, let's say they say 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 1 plus 5 is 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the next card will be the ace. And then you can take these cards and put them on the bottom of the top because you're basically done with the tricks. Now you can spread out the cards here, show that all the cards are shuffled and normal, and they could have said any four numbers that they wanted, and you have them take a look at the four cards that they randomly stopped at and they are the four aces so if you think this trick might be like a little bit suspicious they're not really going to be thinking about like mathematical you know equations to see how in the world could you have you know placed the four aces in those four spots because they said four random numbers the adding of the digits to them it just seems like a more randomized fashion of you know randomizing where the four cards are being chosen from the adding of the digits is what makes this trick possible and it's what makes the trick work. So like I said, the spectator really is not going to, you know, pay attention to like the mathematical aspects of this trick. They're just going to be amazed that you shuffled the deck. They watched um, themselves. They they cut the deck themselves and then they watch you do a little overhand shuffle. So in reality, the spectator really will be amazed by this trick. So this is a really fun, awesome trick to try out. Go ahead, try this one out to people. It really does fool them. So yeah, go ahead, try this one out. Really hope you guys enjoyed this very simple, easy, yet very powerful mathematical card trick. So see you guys for my next video. Bye.